Imagine the ability to assemble biological components for the production of anti-cancer microbes or a plant-based transportation fuel as quickly and easily as hard drives and memory chips are today assembled into computers. Synthetic biologists are striving towards that goal and their efforts recently received a boost in the form of a five-year, $16 million grant from the National Science Foundation to establish the Synthetic Biology Engineering Research Center, or SINBERC, at the University of California, Berkeley. Jay Keesling, a professor of bioengineering and chemical engineering, is director of SINBERC. The goal of the center is to engineer biology and to discover how one can engineer biology and then use that on some cutting edge applications. Such as engineering a microbe to actually become a tumor seeking, tumor killing device. The goal is to mirror the efficient production of the microelectronics industry. If you think about how we develop microprocessors for computers or the entire computer industry, when you buy a hard drive for your computer, you don't have to worry about what the disk is made of inside that hard drive. All you have to know is that the connection is the right connection. And when you put it into your computer, it works because it's delivered the power to the hard drive and the information comes out of the hard drive or goes on to the hard drive. You don't have to worry about the connection. So we have standard connections. In biology, we don't have standard connections. We don't have standards for how all the parts fit together. And we can't hide any detail like you can in the microelectronics industry. We have to know every detail, every facet of every device or part that we use in biology. We need to change that if we want to make the engineering of biology easier to make healthcare cheaper to deliver, to make energy molecules less expensive, to make diagnostics less expensive. We need to be able to engineer biology. The goal of the Synthetic Biology Engineering Research Center is to make the engineering of biology easier, less time consuming, and faster. Sinberg collaborators include UC San Francisco, MIT, Harvard, and Prairie View A&M University in Texas. The center was spearheaded by the California Institute for Quantitative Biomedical Research, or QB3, which involves researchers at UC campuses in Berkeley, San Francisco, and Santa Cruz, as well as industry partners. Science Today is produced by the University of California, Office of the President, and is aired nationally on the CBS Radio Network. For more information about the program, visit our website at www.ucop.edu slash science today.